In 2016, the government hired three public relations firms based in the U.S., U.K. and German to try and popularize the country's tourism potential in those countries. According to sector players, the campaign led to an increment in the number of tourists coming to the country. We are monitoring arrivals every day. As I speak, as per last evening, we have already gotten the number we got last year. However, for the past two weeks, Uganda has experienced extensive negative publicity following the events arising out of the Arua municipality MP by election, where members of parliament and the general public were arrested and some reportedly tortured. While addressing journalists at the media center, sector players from the Ministry of Tourism, Uganda Tourism Board and the Uganda Wildlife Authority maintained the events coming out of the Arua by election had not affected the inflow of tourism in the country. An increment of 40% from Germany. This year as we speak, we have already received the 14,000. So, in, irrespective of what is happening, because of the marketing strategy, However, private sector players like Emos Wekesa says they are experiencing cancellations of tourists, especially from the UK. And people, you know, people in tourism they pay us years a year in advance, and this money goes towards booking of hotels, uh, getting the gorilla permits, paying park entrance fees, and preparing the cars for them to come. All this money is sometimes given to us in advance. Now they had already given us money for you know the December season and this continuing season. Now people are saying, bring back our money. Wekesa advised government to address the challenges affecting the youth in a bid to rip big from the tourism sector. One thing that must happen right now, the government of Uganda must not necessarily focus on individuals that are probably demonstrating. They must focus on the challenges that are causing the demonstration. And this is creation of job opportunities. So we must be investing in areas that actually can bring in external opportunities like tourism, our exports of agricultural products. These are things that we need to be focusing on. In response, the Minister of Tourism, Ephraim Kamuntu, says they are planning on hiring three more farms in Asia. However, Amos thinks otherwise. So Uganda should increase their budget. Instead of scattering our efforts to China and, on, and all these other companies, should increase our budget to make sure that we get those numbers that we need as a country. All this comes as a country prepares to celebrate World Tourism Day with the main celebration set to be held in Jinja next month. Jumakiria, NTV.